Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Angular 19. Today we are going to learn about the root files or you can say about the project structure. Those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel and if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. Let's get started. So here you can see that we have a project structure. Let's open the code base from the terminal. Okay, so NVM nvm use node node.js version is 16 detected okay let's see node version please update your node.js version with this i think we have already node version let's use it nvm use node 22 20 okay and we will use ng serve to run this project okay so open the link here you can see the project is running right so let's go to the project structure let's open the code base for this in the vs code so here we have the project structure okay so here we have the node modules for the installation of the any packages that we want to use in our application like it might be the exios any npm packages you want to install it will come under the node modules then we have the root files that is angular.json file okay so here you can see that we have angular.json file so this is a configuration file right configuration file for the project settings builds and the deployments all things over there right so this is a configuration file for the any project we have so for the angular it's angular.json then we have packet.json managing project dependencies production development in which you want to use then here you can see that in the packet.json file here we have some of the script section also this will help you to run your project right so here you can see just ng start for for starting the project ng serve which we am writing because i am on the development server if you want to make the create the build you can go with the ng build or npm start build okay so these are the commands these are the scripts in which you want to run your project so you have to add it over here okay anything you want to do with your project okay whether you want to create the development build whether you want to create the build production development comes over there right Next, we have a TS config file. This is a TypeScript configuration where we do the TypeScript configurations. Okay, so this is the TS config. So directory strict, and these all are the configurations that you can do for the TypeScript. Right. Next, we have a index.html, the main HTML file where the application bootstraps. Okay, the main file you can see the main.ts file entry point of the application are responsible for bootstrapping the root module okay then we have a source folder here you can see that we have a source folder we have an app folder right in the app folder we have a app component dot c this is the main thing right so here you can see app folder core application folder containing app component dot ts app component dot html that is a main component right it's and the source app dot module dot ts file root angular module standalone components new angular 18 features allowed to create components independent of central module and improve modularity okay then we have assets which we have the static files you can say images icons anything then we have environments configuration for the different environments like production development staging you can do that one then we have a style.css that is a global css you can see okay and this is the structure of that one that whenever you create any component it consists of the four files that is the css that is main file then html where we are doing the templating part then we have a app component dot spec dot ts for the testing root testing if you want to do then we have a component dot ts where you write the logic okay this is that one then we have a main server dot ts files here you can see where we have bootstrap the app component over there and this is your server side rendering okay which we'll discuss later on this file right and this is the global style sheet file okay where you can add the global styles over there okay so this is the main structure of the angular 19 any doubt any query in that do let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video have a great day